hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a story time okay i'm back at it with another story time but first if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe down below turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video and also don't forget to follow me on my social media platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat it'll be in the screen box down below for your convenience and yeah let's get started so this whole wedding planning you guys already know i'm getting married next week if you guys don't know, make sure you watch my life update video. It'll be somewhere up here. You know, click that eye and go watch it. But yeah, if you guys don't know, I am getting married in a few days. But throughout this whole wedding process and stuff like that, looking for makeup artists, hairstylists, and all those things, I had encountered some very, very nasty, rude, and disgusting people, okay? So for today's video, I'm going to do a story time on one. She was literally going to be my makeup, makeup artist and hairstylist, okay? So... The lady, should I say where she's from? Just know that she's foreign, okay? She's foreign, not African. I'm not going to say where she's from, but just know that she's foreign, okay? And she's not my complexion, of course. She's not my skin complexion because I felt like, you know, the reason why she acted the way she acted was because she was racist. But she just had a hard time telling me, girl, I don't want to work with you because you are black. But anyhow... The, so first thing first, I found her on Facebook because I was looking up, you know, looking for makeup artists, right? I found her on Facebook and I hit her up, of course, like, hey girl, like, how are you? Like, you know, I'm looking for a makeup artist for my big day, especially since I saw her, her post on Facebook Market, you know? And I do a lot of things through Facebook Market, so I'm like, like, sometimes I even buy, like, you know, things for my house decor and all the stuff through Facebook Market. So I'm like, wow, she does makeup and hair for weddings? Birthdays and all that for $120. I was like, yes, I got, you know, I got me some good, good, good deal. So I'm like, boom, let me hit her up, right? I, I write her. First of all, it takes a whole day to answer me. I want, I want to literally expose the company, but I'm like, I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let her go with her bad, bad luck. Her bad, she's just gonna get whatever is coming her way. But, you know, not from me, you know, from God, because God don't like ugly. That's all I can say. But anyways, um... She, you know, answered me literally a day after. We started chatting and up talking. She, she was like, oh yeah, I can do the hairstyle. And I was like, but hold on. Do you know how to install a wig? Because I'm going to have a wig on and you're going to be styling the wig. She's talking about some, oh no, I don't do, you know, wig install, but I can do the styling. So I said, what type of style can you do with the wig? So the lady sent me like a, like, you know those, like, I probably... And so the picture here, if I don't forget while editing, you know those like those big curls that people be having. I'll probably post the send the picture that she sent me, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. She sent me two different pictures of like those nice big curls, right? And I'm like in my head, I'm like, girl, it's my whole wedding. Why would I be walking around with something I can wear on a regular day? I need something fancy, something you know more creative. So I'm like, can you do this? So I sent her the picture of what I wanted with the wig. And then she's like, um, I don't know if I can do that, but I can do what I sent you the pictures for earlier. So I'm like, oh, if you're going to do what, you, if you're going to do what you can only do on my hair for my wedding, I'm just going to go ahead and pay you what I also want to pay you. So I didn't tell her that. That's what I said in my head. But so I was like, okay, so instead of 120, I'm about to pay hundred dollars. If that's what you're going to do on my hair. And then plus, 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 plus. She was not going to be the one installing the wig, so I had to pay someone else to install my wig. So I'm like, ain't no way. Like, ain't no way I'm going to pay her the whole 120 when she's only going to be putting curls that I can do myself. You know, the only thing she was really going to be doing was my makeup. So we start talking about the hair. She says, $100 is fine. So we start talking about the hair, and I'm like, okay, what about my makeup? You know, so it's going to be $50 for the makeup, $50 for the hair, right? She said, yeah, sure, no problem. Boom, we exchange number, right? Because I'm like, give me a number. I'm tired of talking to Facebook. I said, give me a number. So she sends my, me her number. We text him back and forth. She said, yes, I can do it. I give her my wedding day. She said, yes, I'm available. Yes, 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 yes. She's so good, right? And then all of a sudden, I'm texting her. She's not replying. I'm texting her. She's not replying. And I'm like, hmm, what is going on? Did this lady gave up on me? And then I was like, hey, like, what is going on? Like, I need to really make sure I'm booked for real. Like, I need to make sure I'm booked for real. And then she was like, um, yeah, you are booked. And I'm like, okay, 
what other type of curls can you do? Because I went on her page, the curls I was asking for, she has done them before. So I'm like, beside the big curls that you sent me, can you retry something else that you have on your page already? And she's like, oh yeah, sure, send me the picture. So I send it to her, she opens and do not reply. And I'm like, hmm, what is going on here? Because I sent it to her on her Facebook. And I hit, up, uh, hit her up on her phone number and I'm like, hey, like, did you receive what I sent you? I was trying to make sure that you could do that hairstyle and stuff. And then she talking about some... I already told you what I could do. I'm like, did you tell me it was okay for me to go on the page that, you know, your business page and pick one of the hairs that you have done? And then she just like, oh, yes, I did, but that's that's not a wig. That's the real hair. Obviously, it's the real hair, and I know that, you know? So first of all, strike one, every single model on her, like, her first, let's say, first 30, she probably had, like, less than 100 pictures, right? Of people's makeup that she has done the very recent ones were only Caucasian people Hispanic people and that's it no black no black that was already a red flag but then I was like oh no I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt to say that okay she can slay me because when I scroll all the way down to like 2018 makeup that she did or 2019 makeup something like that she has done like one or two black people so I was like okay I know throughout her whole career she only did you know two or three black people but let me just be the fourth one or whatever, you know, let me just be in there. So I kept chatting with her. I'm telling her, you know, what I like and stuff like that. Then I need my phone for this one. She talked about some, if I'm coming to her, she's going to do the $100. But if she's coming to me, it's 120 And I hit her up with, oh, why is the price different when you knew? By the way, by, I, when we started talking, I told her that I would need her to come over. For my makeup but she states that oh if i come to her and i was like no problem i can come to you literally my wedding is at 11. i can come to you early morning like at eight o'clock seven o'clock whatever o'clock you want me to come as long as you know you give me enough time to get there do my makeup do my hair and then boom i'm out so mind you she agreed that you know that hairstyle she was like let me cover her number she was like i don't know if you guys can read oops Technically, it says that um, that hairstyle is going to take a very long time. And I'm like, we said $100 total, right? That's fine. Whatever time you need, I'm paying you $100 because I'm coming to you. And then, in my head, I was already confused because, first of all, you said you couldn't do that hairstyle. Now you're saying that the hairstyle is going to take a long time. So what are you saying? Can you do my hair or can't you do my hair? Like, what is it? Like, what is it? But anyways, then I start writing her. She doesn't reply. I write her, she doesn't reply, so I was like, so 120 and you're coming to me? She said, no, thank you. And then I said, I mean, yes for however much you want, because I really wanted her service for real. So I was like, yes for however much you want. And I was like, how long, how long will it take? So, you know, I prepare myself. She said, um, I called her, because she didn't reply. I called her on the phone. She's like, are you yelling? This is really how I was talking. Like, where is the yell? But apparently, I was yelling. You know, the black, angry woman. I was yelling. She was like, are you yelling? Are you mad? I'm like, no, I'm not mad. Like, why would I be mad for? This is your business. If that's how much you need me to pay you, I'll just go ahead and pay you. Like, that's what she was like. No, I don't work for you. You mad? Are you mad? I'm like, what are you talking about? Even, like, Jordan was like, is she okay? <laughs> like... What is going on? And I was like, I'm not mad. Like, nothing is wrong. Like, just tell me, you know, what I should do. So, you can book me and I can send you a deposit. And then she was like, no, I don't work for you. Bye. And I hung up on me. I cannot make this up. And she hung up on me. I was like, oh, wow. This is what we're doing. So, I tried calling again. She, she blocked the number. She blocked my number. And then, cause I was like, and then I sent her a message. I was like, I'm sorry if you thought I was yelling. I was not. I just don't, I just couldn't hear you. So I kept saying, hello, hello, hello. I was not yelling at you. She didn't reply. So I was like, I can't. So I literally like had like makeup artists that wanted to work with me, but I couldn't do hair. Mind you, they couldn't do hair. So I could have just booked her for hair alone. But I decided that, okay, it's going to be easier for me to go to one person for both, right? So I literally canceled the person I had for my makeup prior. So... I was like, I canceled, you know, the lady I was supposed to do my makeup at first just because I wanted to work with you so you can do both. 
the same time, the same day, so I don't have to go to different places. And, you know, what am I going to do now? Like, I have to start looking over, and, like, like start looking, you know, over again. Because I really wanted somebody that could do both, right? And then she didn't reply. So I was like, I believe you honestly do not want to work with me because I'm black. Because literally, I felt like her attitude, like, her attitude changed right when I started talking about the wig. Seriously. Like, I can't make this up. Literally. And I was like, plus, you hung up on me when I was trying to make sure that you could hear me. And you claimed that um, I was mad. Because, first of all, I couldn't hear you. I kept saying hello, hello, so I could hear you. And my hello, I was like, hello? Hello? Like, is that yelling? I wanted to make sure you could hear me because I couldn't hear you. And I kept saying hello. But anyways, I was like, you claimed I was mad. No wonder you barely have any black girl that worked with you on your page, of course. And then um, even her staff, none of them were black, by the way. And I was like, oh, you just don't know how to work with the wigs, with, the, with, with wigs that well. And was just looking for a way to say no, especially if um, I will be paying the money you want. Why would you say no? So she didn't reply. And I tried to use, like, Jonas number to hit up and be like, you know, you were rude and stuff like that. She didn't reply. So I was like, I'm just going to leave it at that. And as you guys can see, my face is slate. Because today was my practice makeup um, for, this. literally, I'm, rec I'm pre-recording this, like I said. So, today was my practice makeup with my makeup artist. I was doing my makeup on my wedding day. So, that's why I was like, I already got a face. My face already big. I already got a big face. Let me just go ahead and, and drop these videos for you guys. Okay, so yeah. You know, today, you know, we practice. I love it. I love it. I live for this, like. Okay, period. Anywho, that's the that's the end. That's the end. end. I wanted to keep trying trying to reach out to her, but I was like, I'm just gonna let her be because I was literally gonna go ahead and you know post her company name out here. Oh, by the way, she went and blocked me on Facebook. She blocked me on Facebook because I wanted to write her on Facebook. She blocked me on Facebook, and yeah, that was that. I had I didn't have her personal page, so I just on I just unfollowed her, and. Yeah, that was it. Because even when I added her on, oh, by the way, when I added her on her personal page, she didn't even reply. Why did I add her on her personal page? Because she was not replying. Like, literally, like, like we've been talking for, like, almost a week. Because some days she would, like, skip a whole day and not answer me. So I was like, maybe she's more active on her personal page. But she has, like, she didn't even answer, like, follow me back or answer my DM when I sent her or, or the DM on, on her personal Facebook. So it was like, how professional are you? But anyways, that's it for today's story time of my encounter with my racist hair and makeup artist. So please, y'all, more, more of the story is if you own a business and you know that you want that business to grow, please make sure you know how to treat your clientele. Please make sure you know how to talk to people because even when I was talking to her on the phone, she was just so rude. Like, her answer was too, like, she was really rude. After I mentioned the wig, I guess she probably have not, like, went to my page to see, you know, you know, that I was black or something. I don't know. But once I mentioned the wig, oh, she probably thought I was black with long hair. I don't know. But anyways, once I mentioned the wig, it was like a new person. So make sure y'all, you know, do your business and can work with all people because that's just not fair. Like, it's not fair at all. Anyways, make sure you guys follow me on my social, on my social media platform. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Definitely make sure you subscribe here if you're not subscribed yet. Turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will catch you guys on my next video. I can't believe I'm getting married next week. Ah! Bye, guys.